There's this unique trail that traverses the Grand River and connects two other major pathways in this county, creating this grand connection. And it wins awards for its natural beauty and engineering design. The Spoonville Trail is an incredible community asset. I think honestly, this is one of the prettiest sections of trail in Michigan. It rivals any trail in the state, uh, mainly because you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. You're, you're on a trail through the woods. You cannot tell that there's the highway right over there. You can't tell that there's a golf course right here. And somebody just drove behind me. After the route was picked, Ottawa County was able to work with this property owner and give both of us the opportunity to work on a trail really unlike any other trail I've worked on. Uh, through the woods like this, meandering, uh, where you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. One of the stipulations with MDOT was, if we're going to invest public tax dollars into this non-motorized path across the seventh longest bridge in the state of Michigan, you need to connect it to other non-motorized pathways on either side of the Grand River. So that task was left up to our department to determine how to construct this Spoonville Trail. You start with a line on a map, that's just a pretty modest little idea, and then it becomes something in reality like this. One thing about the Spoonville Trail project taught me just how a small idea can become something that will be enjoyed by you know thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands over its life, and that um, you can start small and make something really special. Instantly saw the beauty of what could happen with a trail like this. There was none other in the state of Michigan that collaborated with a golf course in this way, let alone have these beautiful ravine features that would ultimately have a combination of boardwalks and bridges. It would be an incredible experience for the trail user. We've been working on this project for six years now, and we are really excited that this project is now complete. Construction is done and it's open. The public can use it. Uh, it's, it's been a, a long time coming, and it's just so exciting to see people out using it.